I'm working on a cylinder head. I was trying to narrow down the problem why I was losing power, or not losing power, but I couldn't get it over uh, or bring up the speed past 75 miles an hour. And the problem turned out to be, I'll show you right here. You can see how much deposit onto the intake. This is the exhaust. It's better. But the intake is just completely kegged up with <clears throat> from using waste vegetable oil. So I'm gonna show you a tool that I made to remove this. It's very simple. One inch PVC. This is what, three inches? long there's a PVC that I used one inch I use a grinder then a clamp just put this on okay and from here you just squeeze the clamp and that would push down to do with one hand okay let me redo this okay I have to reposition so this can be straight onto the pipe again it's hard one hand now you can see the uh, pin that holds it came loose let's get the other one loose okay and then we're just gonna use a magnet of course when I make the video it takes longer for it to come out but this actually came out real simple let me squeeze this one more time problem was it wasn't uh, I didn't squeeze the clamp or the valve far enough so take these out set it here okay loosen the clamp from underneath right here obviously you should use two hands it's not the way it should pop open and then so take that out need another magnet see this should have came out with the valve like the rest of them so I'm gonna mix it which already did but 30 cycles down so that will go like this and you simply push the valve from here and through underneath you just pull it out and here you go see the damage that's why I was losing power and a lot of black smoke I was not able to it's not able to feed enough air into the combustion chamber so this is kind of like a catastrophic failure to from using waste vegetable oil. So my suggestion is never use a single tank because if you do 
there's your aftermath just a catastrophic failure in the motor because that's take the whole head apart you can see the rings were completely seized up almost every single one I had to clean the block a little bit and at the same time it damaged see which one one of these here we go right here hard to see but it's damaged over there so because a little wear the reason what caused it is I'm assuming the thick oil which got contaminated with the waste vegetable oil must have clogged one of these right here okay this is a port for the oil that lubricates the pusher here's the cam that show you that did some serious damage to this one too well, damage onto the journals whatever you call these or the oils but take a look at the lobes here's one that's pretty sharp and look at this one it's not sharp sharp that one is this one's damaged this one's good good bad this one's real bad there's another one that's real bad and so is that one so 80% of the cameras lobes are damaged due to contamination of waste vegetable oil into the auto oil so for those of you that want to know what kind of damage you can do this is just one of them so damage your cam damage your whole cylinder head pretty much because once you get a damage here you can't fix it supposedly I brought it to a few shops they can't fix it so that valves completely clogged and not to mention your piston rings completely every single ring was seized up and then once the cylinder or the ring seizes up you also gonna damage your cylinder block towards the top and pretty much that would end up with a you will need a whole new motor thanks for watching